You know I can take you anywhere you want to go. Lauren Larson won't be here with you for the city choir convention. Oh, what? I have a list of the songs Mr. Larson was considering for the convention. I'd be glad to go over them whenever you want. I appreciate that, Penelope, because I'm going to need all the help I can get. Thanks. How about I demand a recap? Thank you, um, but I, I'm not a, a real singer, you know, just in the car, when I'm alone. Have you thought about trying out for the solo? I, I don't think so. Besides, I mean, Gloria is always the soloist. Well, I think a little competition can be a healthy thing. Just promise me you'll at least consider it. Take a listen to yourself next time you're at a stoplight. You might just be surprised. same page with Jesus on the same wavelength as him do you live your life the way he did or are you still way out on a limb have you turned your eyes upon his face have you searched the depths of your heart do you know the only way to save him grace or has your life begun to fall apart Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the way, he's the way, the truth and the life, Jesus is the only way. Do you feel at peace when others panic? Is a song in the morn your wake up call? Do the wind chimes chime? Breathe the breath of God, then you found the answer to it all. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the Thank you, Gloria. That was very nice. Anyone else? Penelope, you're the only one left. What do you say? If you want, Beverly will accompany you. Oh, I don't know. Look, I think you regret it if you don't. Why not at least give it a try? much for finding the next American Idol. Now I know why Simon gets so testy having to sit through all those bad singers. Well, you know, our choir sounds very good for as bad as they all sing alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the frustrating thing is, I know Penelope can sing. Clinton, I heard it. Well, honey, not everybody auditions well. Third grade, I was so nervous, I lost the part of the princess to Emily Harker because I started playing the princess part, too. They made me play the frog. And I'm sure you did well. You did. <laughs> But that's not the point. 
I was the better princess, but they didn't know it. Honey, you're the choir director. It's your choice who plays the solo, no matter how the auditions went. If you believe Penelope's a better singer, then choose her. It's not that Gloria isn't good. But when it comes right down to it, Penelope is a risk. She's inexperienced. She's obviously shy. But if I could somehow just get her to really believe in herself. Decisions like this? That's why they pay you the big bucks. <laughs> First of all, thanks to everyone who tried out to be soloists. We all know that if somehow I had the guts to get up there, I'd be the first person I crossed off my list. <laughs> that said, I have made a choice. I took into consideration a number of factors. The potential for something special. The song we'll be singing, brought to us by Gloria, by the way. And finally made what was a tough decision. Congratulations, Penelope. Solo's yours. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just know that you have a beautiful voice. Congratulations. Thank you. I will try as hard as I can. Well, I know you will. And I'll be right there to help you. Penelope, dear. Congratulations are in order. It would seem that you have taken the soloist mantle from me and wrapped it around yourself. I am so sorry. Oh, nonsense, I... nonsense. You have nothing to be sorry for. You are, after all, Nathan's pick, and I'm sure you'll be just fine. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Gloria, I hope you understand. Nathan, come on. You had a choice to make and you made it. You are, after all, the interim choir director. But let's just hope for all concerned that with so large a responsibility resting on her and your shoulders that you haven't made a mistake. <laughs> Shall we? Beverly. Gloria? Well, that didn't go so badly, all things considered. Being inside a church may have just saved me. <laughs> Not bad. We're gonna try it again one more time. One thing first, though, okay? Can I help you? Here's the thing. I need you to be louder. I really need you to let go. Otherwise, the people in the audience, they won't be able to hear you. You understand? All right, I have an idea. Let's try it this way this time. You see the back of the room? Imagine there's a guy back there. Way back there. Way, way back there in the next room even, maybe across the street, and he really wants to hear what you're singing. Now, the only way he can is if you start singing really loudly to him. Now, you just gotta hit him with both barrels blasting. You think you can do that? I'll try. Just open your mouth and fill this place with music, okay? All right, good. Let's go get it. All right, everyone, from the top. Everybody take five. Great job. Take five, okay? So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Nate, can I talk to you? Sure, Penelope, what is it? I don't think I can do this. Of course you can. You're just getting started. 
You know, rumor has it that Pavarotti forgot the words to the Barber of Seville his first night on stage. Look where he ended up. Uh, Nate, why did you pick me? Because you're the best person to do this. Thank you. No one's ever believed in me before. I'll keep doing my best to not let you down. You're doing great. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Gloria, Oscar. Nate, uh, I'll get right to the point. We're here about Penelope. Before we say what we have to say, just know that this has nothing to do with me not getting the solo. Yes, yes indeed. This is about all of us and how we feel about things. We all agree, uh, the choir I mean, that Penelope is, how should we say it, uh, not the right person for the job. She's a very sweet person, Nathan. Everybody knows that. But we are preparing for the competition, and frankly, we all believe that she is not the one to represent us. We think she should be replaced. Look, I know she's been struggling, but she just needs a little work. Nathan, it's going to take more than a little work. And as far as time, that is something that we don't have. Uh, the competition is only a few weeks away. Nate. It's unfair to the others who have worked so hard not to go in with our best. And to be honest, I don't think it's fair to Penelope either. When we lose, uh, if, if we lose, how is she going to feel? I appreciate you coming to me and expressing your opinion. Thank you. Nathan, do not let stubbornness in admitting your mistake hurt the others and yourself. Hey, Penelope. Hey. What's up? Thanks for meeting me. I'm really sorry to bother you. I just really needed to talk to you before the next rehearsal. Is everything all right? I'm going to have to drop out of being soloist. Why? Yeah, I was going to make up an excuse, but the truth is, I'm just not any good. I'd have to be stupid to think that other people aren't aware of it, too. Penelope, come on. Man. It's okay. I don't blame them. Think of how bad I am now. Imagine when we're there in front of all those people. Please don't make me do this anymore. Everyone has such high hopes for the competition, and I don't want to let them and you down. I really appreciate, though, everything you've been trying to do for me, and... Sorry. As you all have heard by now, Penelope is stepping down as soloist. Uh, I speak for all of us when I say that I wish it hadn't come to this. And I believe that, Oscar. And I want to commend you, Gloria. You've been our soloist for so long that I know this must have been hard for you. But you never complained or went down any divisive road. And that shows that you are a true member of this choir and church. And I very much appreciate that. See, one thing I realized is that I never told y'all why I picked Penelope. It happened because one day I heard her sing alone here in the church. And she was amazing. Now, I know that's very hard for y'all to believe, but it's true. So, I talked her into auditioning. And I think on one level she was flattered, but mostly very hesitant. But that didn't matter to me. I knew with that voice we could win the Hands to Heaven Award. And frankly, that's all I cared about. I turned being honored as the best praise and worship choir into a competition, and I know that's not why we started this praise and worship choir in the first place. So, 
maybe it's time we got back to why we did start it. Somehow, I got the feeling we will all sound better when we start singing to who we're supposed to be singing to. That's it. That's got to be it. Yeah. Hey, man. Sorry to bother you, but do you think you can make it early to choir practice tomorrow? A little something I want you to do. Sure. Come just as you are. Don't you hear the spirit call? Come just as you are. Come and see. Christ the King. Hey. That sounded great. Oh, well, I, I like to come in early and warm up with a song I like, you know, before everyone gets here. I like that one too. We used to sing it back in my town. Oh, cool. You think I could talk you into playing it again? Oh, uh, sure. you to continue on as our soloist I don't think so I'll help you why do you think you won't be able to sing like that with the choir I don't know I, I guess maybe it's just the people or something how come people don't bother you when you play the piano I guess I don't think about them when I play what do you think about I just kind of let the music come out and I sing to God and don't really think about anything just like when you were singing now See, before when you were struggling, it was because you were trying to perform. You're not about that. Penelope, you're a worshiper. Just what a praise and worship soloist should be. Dear Doc, you ever get to the end of the week? Nate found out that sometimes it's okay to preach to the choir. 
as long as you include yourself among its members. And in the process, a young woman found her own unique voice and used it in a way that lifted us all a little higher. And I got to feel and put a smile on God's face. Do you feel peace when others panic? Use a song in the morning, you wake up calm. Do the wind chants chime and breathe the breath of God? You found the answer to it all. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus is the way, He is the way, the truth and the life, Jesus is the only way. Until next time, 